Welcome to the Iowa Gallery here at the Hall of Laureates. This is the place where we preserve Iowa's great agricultural and humanitarian heritage through artwork all done by Iowa artists. The centerpiece of the room is this mural by Gary Kelly from Cedar Falls. Here you see seated on Norman Borlaug's front porch, Jessie Field Shambaugh, the woman school teacher from Clorinda who started after school clubs that became 4-H. Next to her, Herbert Hoover, 31st president of the United States, but America's single greatest humanitarian who took food to Europe to feed six, 700 million people at the end of World War I. George Washington Carver, born in slavery, emancipated at the end of the Civil War, turned away from schools because of the color of his skin in other states, but welcomed in Iowa, where he attended Simpson and Iowa State University. And then Henry Wallace, the man who developed hybrid corn, who founded DuPont Pioneer, and went on to be Secretary of Agriculture and Vice President of the United States. And there's Norman Borlaug welcoming them all to his home in Howard County in Northeast Iowa. And other artworks in the room tell other stories and build upon that. One of my favorite is this painting by Mary Klein Misal of Des Moines. Here she shows George Washington Carver and Mahatma Gandhi writing to each other. Gandhi, when he began the quest to throw off British colonial rule, worried about his diet, would he be strong enough, sought advice from Carver, and they engaged in a correspondence over six, seven, eight years in which Carver gave him suggestions for how his diet could be more nutritious, that gave him the strength to successfully make India a free and independent country that it is today. A billion people living in freedom and democracy with an Iowan, a man who is a scientist only because of Iowa, playing a small but maybe not insignificant part in that achievement. That's the kind of stories we have here in the Iowa Gallery and that we preserve through artwork for Iowans to know about them over the next decades.